this non-competitive hula celebration in Hawaii is coming up. The annual Prince Lot Hula Festival is still on, but it's going to be a bit different this year. Joining us this morning with all of the details are Pauline Warsham, Managing Director of Moanalua Gardens Foundation, and David Kalama, producer at Kalama Productions. Good morning. morning. Good morning, Kelly. Thank you for joining us this morning because I'm sure everyone is curious how the event is going to be happening this year. So tell us, what's different this year compared to years past? Well, this year we're having a virtual festival. Uh, due to the pandemic, as you know, we couldn't have a live in-person festival. So what we did is uh, we pivoted to a virtual festival filmed for television. It was something that we felt was important to do because we wanted to continue our 43-year tradition and keep our cultural culture alive. So um, we hired David Kalama of Kalama Productions uh, to help us do this. David, I'm sure this was not an easy feat. What were some of the challenges that you faced at filming the production? Well, uh, first thing I would say is that um, we had to decide what type of show to do, and I gave them, they asked me to give them a couple of ideas, and I gave them, I think, six basic ideas, and then decided on what we actually did. Uh, and I think most of that was because uh, it allowed for everybody who wanted to participate to be able to participate. Um, that was the main thing, and that we would do it all in one day, the main filming of the, what we call the main event of the festival. Uh, and we were going to try and make it seem like there was a festival, even though nobody could come, and we're instead making it available through uh, media. So, of course, COVID was a big problem, a, a huge problem with scheduling changes. Um, we kept changing the dates. Uh, I'd, ha I'd lose crew because they were no longer available for the new dates. Then the dates would change again, and the crew could come back because they were available those days. And, so scheduling with COVID was very complex. Right, definitely quite a process to actually get this all together. But it happened, and you guys have a beautiful full production. So tell us, what can we expect to see on Thursday's premiere show? What are some of the highlights we're looking towards? So you'll see all 11 of the Halal performing a mixture of Kahiko and Awana. Um, what's unique about uh, the approach that the festival wanted to take uh, is that we asked the Kumuhula to uh, provide a, a, a message of encouragement, what we call a, a message of aloha, where they talk to the audience uh, directly, uh, giving them some their personal message of unity, encouragement, hope, and inspiration. Uh, so that's a very unique feature that's in the program. Well, this sounds like an incredible performance, such a big production with 11 halau. We're not going to want to miss it. So real quick, where can we catch this? Well, you can catch it tonight right here on KHUN2 at 7 p.m. And we want to thank everyone, the entire crew, our volunteers, our Kumuhula and Haumana. They really pitched in and rose to the occasion. Uh, Dr. Gerard Akaka from the Queens Medical Center and his compliance team. And, of course, all of our sponsors, including presenting sponsor, the Hawaii Tourism Authority. So be sure to watch the show tonight right here on KHUN2. Yes. We hope you enjoy it. Aloha oh. and mahalo. I'm sure we will enjoy it. It's a great production. Don't miss it again tonight right here at 7 o'clock KHUN2. Thank you both so much for joining us this morning. Aloha. Thank you, Thank Kelly. You. Thank you. Aloha. Aloha.